Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. So I am, um, I've got some things in mind and I just want to get going to it. But first, there's the Henry needing attention. So, all right, maybe that'll do him for a little bit. No, it's not. Hey. It's going to be, it's going to be a thing. Okay. So, oh, good grief. Here, here's a break. So I'm rubbing him. And when I go to move away, he grabs me. And then I have to rub him again. And then I'm like, hey. <laughs> we do this all the time. Even when I'm walking away, he will reach out with a claw to snag some type of material my sleeve my pant leg whatever okay all right that's got to be enough for a moment okay sorry to take your art time up i'd have some kitty time there okay <laughs> um right i am so glad that i'm starting to have ideas again because whoo it's been a minute um taking care of things at here at home and people and uh i just thought i'd lost the mojo but it's coming back to me okay so here i know you're wondering what this is um i started out with poppy field wild plum and some bright yellow no these two clashed in my opinion they don't go well so i added mermaid I, I don't want a blue flower, so just there. Um, uh, that is watermelon. It still was not, a red's not going with this type purple. So I've added a deeper purple. Now, I might mix those two, but this one is a good connector between this color and this color. So I'm glad I do put the palette out a little bit because in my head I pictured that working well and it didn't so um, I'm sticking with the poppy field the wild plum some bright yellow and vineyard okay there we go got my candle lit you know I love candles but right now they're a visual item only because I, I can't smell uh, of course I've never had a great nose I've never been able to smell good anyway <laughs> I really can't smell now so anyhow yeah my sense is gone I mean my smelling sense is gone my other sense is is wandering around but my smelling sense has left the building but you know again hadn't smelled good in 20 years so I kind of don't care all right Let's get going. I do want to do something different. Normally I take, um, oh, and in case y'all hadn't watched my last video, uh, canning accident. <laughs> I was canning beans. And I think I took them out too soon. I, I didn't let them sit in the pan and rest and get used to the new uh, pressure once I took the lid off. I kind of jumped right in and started taking them out. And I grabbed the lid part, I think rather than the jar and it popped it on off which it's so much pressure in there anyway at this point it just shot up like i don't know a volcano um yeah it landed right there and it didn't hurt at first and i thought cool until i realized no that's that's a bad thing all right i'm going um I want to make a, a wreath. I'm, I'm loving the look of it, but I don't want to blow it around a can right now. I need a piece of paper. Henry. Um, I'm going to put down some sepia acrylic ink. And this is the back of it, and I love it. Or the front, I don't know. But it's, it's uh, the sheet that you pull your labels off of. And it's perfect for this because it doesn't let it soak in. And it's a piece of paper you're going to throw away anyway. So get another use out of it before you toss it. Um, here we go. 
So I'm just going to haphazardly make a few um, marks, circles, to indicate like the vining part of a wreath. And I think where I want it, I guess in the center. Something like that. I mean, I don't have, it doesn't have to be exact or, you know. Again, this is in my head, so who knows how it's going to turn out. In my head, it looks fabulous, but in my head, I'm also a size six, so, you know, who, who, who knows. All right. I think that's good. That's where I'm going to stay. Now, the acrylic ink you can rinse or do rinse with water so there all right i'm gonna give it let me dry that starting to smell um, baked delight yeah good job all right I don't know how I'm gonna do this um, let's see I kind of want maybe some here and one here I like that look so I'm gonna do one here now the only bad thing about doing this at this point is the yellow is going to show some of this but with the Blanco in it it will uh, make it more opaque so hopefully there won't be a difference and I could spray this with Kmar do I want to no I don't want to because it's going to mess up this paper for my inks um, I'm just going to deal and it may be that I do the darker colors and maybe a yellow here and not actually get on the brown Something to think about. I'm not real worried about it. It's it's not for no more than this is. I don't see it being a problem. So let's just see. So I'm going to do, and I may do. Uh, yellow in the middle, maybe. Um, maybe at the poppy field and vineyard. See that wonder about that vineyard? Well, you mix the white with it, the vineyard's going to chill out. It's a little dark, but so is the poppy field. Okay. The white is going to lighten them up. And then I don't know what I'm going to do up there. I might do a, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Let's jump. Um, I got my Tim Holtz blower. Now, all my supplies are in the description with links, or there's an Amazon shop that has the picture. Um, I like pictures, so that works. Um, I'm going to do the darker, I think, in the middle, which is going to be vineyard. And I'm going to put a little wild plum in there. Um, there you go. Making sure that's open. <clears throat> vineyard, wild plum. Set underneath and do yeah. That's what I'll do. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it sit more and not just directly on it a little on this side. I'm only gonna do one drop. This isn't gonna be a big flower, so I just need one drop of ink, one drop of blanco. I'm gonna let it spread just an in inkling. A big flower. 
So once I get it where I kind of want it, I'm going to blow it back. And I'm going to keep blowing because it's going to add some dimension. Now, being as that's pretty dark, I may do one drop to two of the Blanco. Just, I'm going to see what that does. Actually, I want to do a wild plum, see what that adds. Pulled some of that purple. That's not a bad thing. Yeah, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm keep putting on the same spot. It's going to activate ever so slightly some of it underneath. It's not a guarantee. I wouldn't count on it, but it will pull some of that underneath. Yeah, not bad. I kind of did two of the white. You can see it lightened up a little bit. But I've gotten it as far as I want it, so I'm just keeping it in its spot until it dries. I'm going to let it sit. I try to let it sit just a little bit because I do want it to somewhat mix with the purple because that's a really cool color. I'm going to blow it back. turning out bad. I'm liking this. Okay, so I'm going to do the wild plum. I'm going to set it back just a little bit and see if it'll pick up some of that. And that's a lot of ink. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to have to dab me up some because I'm not happy with that and we'll do it again and try not to put too much down one there we go that's a little better yeah that's better that other one got a little much and it was about to create a mess I'm going to do a little bit of a dark purple maybe through here it just seems, or the vineyard through there, it just seems like a little logical place. And I pushed it over on top of that one because I just kind of wanted the mix. There. All right. Pretty cool. Do you like it? He's purring. <laughs> Okay, and I think I'm going to put my other two here and here, and then fill in. That would be great. And then up here, because it's not around anything, I could do that wild plum, but I'll see. I'll see what it looks like with the poppy field. This is a little tricky, but it's slow, and so you have a good chance of reacting to it. It's not something that's so fast that you're stuck. You know, you can get it out as far as you want, and you can see that's coming through. So I'll probably do two layers after I get the first row done. I may go through.
and you can even see with that one going back over it it's a little duller so yeah i'll just do two rows of this it'll be it'll be fine and i keep going back to the same spot The smaller you do your flowers, the actual harder it is with this technique because a drop is a drop and you're not going to get a small drop or a big drop. You can get a, you know, just, so I don't know how to make it to where you can do real small flowers unless you pre-mix this in some, like a water bottle cap, you know, just something small so you don't have to mix up a lot. Mix it in there and then drop it in with either a pipette which you're going to throw away because it's going to clog up. This white will clog it up. Or, um, you know, the end of a brush or something that you dip in and then spread. That's the only way I can figure it. And I haven't done it, so that's my thinking. Because small flowers are hard to do. And I would love to have left that because that was pretty, but it is it will not stay. It will bloom out, and I will lose the edge looking of my flower. It'll just soften up and round. See, this purple makes this not clash with that. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave that off off because I may make that flower go a different way. Yeah. I'm going to go back over a couple of areas here. And I'm going to go slow because I don't want to thin it out. I'm going to see if I can... Push it to the edge and let it sit. I'm barely blowing it. Just enough to keep it in the little boundaries I want it. Cause see, that covers it. Perfect. Yay. I'm going to go this way. Okay, so that covers it except for that little corner. I am not going to chance going back over it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, having gotten this far, you very well could put down your flowers and do this later. Um, I chose a, a way to try it, and that's how I chose it to put that down first. Um, looking at it now, if I was going to do it again, I'd put my flowers down because that's a brush. So that's easily handled. So there you go. You always do it different the second time around because well, you learn a little bit more. I'm going to put my yellow up here. I'm not going to fight this. I'm going to put my yellow up here and put, there'll be some leaves or squigglies or something there. So that will work. I'll go back over that one because you can see it. But I wanted it overlapping just an inkling over this, but not, not full-fledged like this one. And I'm going to put most of the petals on this side. And 
make the flower look like it's going maybe that way because I don't I don't know if I want to get up in there I don't want it so even And you can, and I would use an extremely cheap brush, uh, mix this up. And you can brush it on, but you're going to throw that brush away. Because I have yet to really, um, I guess you could use alcohol more, but I have yet to really have a good outcome. So, I'm going to do it. Shoot, that's a lot. All right. I'm almost going to have to put something there. It's just not... But it's growing. I don't want it any bigger. So, you know what? I'll figure something out. I may put something here. Yeah. Um, and we'll put a red one there. I'm not hugely happy with this. I kind of, I wanted it, but whatever. I wanted it tilted, and it ends up not doing, but... I'm gonna put a little red here, which will actually, I think, work. Like a bud, not, not anything big. So I'm gonna stick that up in this corner. Like that. There, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. The leaves, we can make it even looking. Now up here, I guess we'll put the purple one. Or do I want to put something else? I'm going to put purple. We'll mix them. Oh, gracious me. That's all right. Okay. That's riding. <laughs> That's just going to be it. <laughs> <Whoop. laughs> he was like, what are you doing to me? Okay, that I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that. Kind of want that a little bigger now. Um, I am not. I'm not gonna mess with it. It's doing pretty good. Okay, I think that is it for alcohols. Okay, so my paper. With my colors on it. All right, I'm gonna do. I've got my airbrush. Now this is the cords undone. The Master TC320. Absolutely love it. It's got the moisture catcher. Really comes in handy here in Tennessee. Um, it's got your dial. It's got your holders. You can lift this up, change this pop it back down it'll stick and yeah it'll go up to 100 but you can do down to nothing so this is pretty awesome um it's been well worth the money i'd gotten a smaller one but i couldn't adjust anything so sometimes you want it very light sometimes you want it you know pretty hard so 
I like to make sure there's no moisture in my lines, so I'll do that for a sec. All right. We'll take the back of a brush. You can use stylus, but they're like four feet away and well, just really hard to get. And we'll dab this in there. Um, let me start right there. I always dab off because if I get too much, then it's a harder fix. Because that's a big drop in itself, but now it's going to be fine. I didn't do it. It's a big blob. I'm squinting to see what I need to do. tiny one right here and we'll see if I can nope I blobbed it all right I'm gonna put this on the very edge in the purple because I don't want to I don't want to see the beginning of it, but I want something to look like it's coming behind it. And this purple's dark enough, you're not going to see that dot. There we go. That I'm happy with. I really want something to go there, but you know, I'm going to do it. Okay. 
to do it. Oh my god, that just that evened it up. Okay. Nice. Um I'm gonna do centers last. I wanna see about the leaves. So I'm gonna do leaves. Um Oh, I got a blob. There we go. Well, that helps. Um, there's my blue. I'm going to have a little bit of blue because I kind of want to stick something in here other than straight green. So there's some blue, and then I've got brown. So I've got those three colors. I'm going to try to play with this because this is a smaller leaf, and I'm going to try to make this work. All right, so I'm gonna get my green. Maybe I can get the blue back into my green. Um, you know what, I think, hold on. I'm gonna do a half, I'm gonna do half of that and see, cause I don't want it big, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I've only got it on half. I'm gonna do right here. So, all right, let's do this. All right, I'm leaving it. That's good enough. I'm kind of touching it all of them, so I don't know what I'm going to get. Okay, I'm setting this flat. I'm scooting and coming up, but also over flat. And then I start back in a more of a parallel to make more of a line here. Let me show. Um, excuse me, Henny Henny. Okay, let me show what I'm doing. So, and I'm going to do these in two different colors so you can kind of see where each section is going. So green and blue. So I set it down. I scoot up and over. And then I end up like that. Now that's exaggerated, but that's generally how it is. And you can see how it skips and it doesn't necessarily put down exactly. Um, but you know, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun to play with. Or you can go up and then over and then up again like that. It takes some practice. This is different than the wedge. The wedge you're working on top like this and you're twisting. Let me get that and let you see. Are you on my wedge? Okay, so here's the wedge. Kind of the same thing. It's a little stiffer than this one. Man, not really. Kind of close. Anyway, I work mine like this. So I half half a dab you can kind of see the same you can come toward you if you wanted to I mean there's so much you can do with these so get these and play it but don't get too good at it because it's the not being good that makes the coolest effects, so don't get too good at it. All right. And if you start, look, I've got all these dots. I don't know what's what, so I'm just kind of dabbing in them. <clears throat> And 
they're not all going to be great and they're not all going to be perfect and you're going to go what in the world am i doing here but don't worry about it because you know they all they're all going to look good because leaves look at leaves outside they're not just flat looking at you there's pieces missing there's different angles And rarely do I say go back over it because usually you mess it up unless it's just horrible to begin with and then you may want to consider Know what I'm gonna put up there? I may put just some splatters. Let me look at this. That's looking fairly evenish. I think I want one coming up here. Oh, here, do I? Too late now. Yeah, I kind of do, but I don't like them meeting. But you know what? Okay, that is that. So this I'm, this is maybe the third or fourth time I used it. I'm getting used to it. The first time I used it, I was like, no, it's no, it's got to go. So yeah, I think I like that. There you go. You got a glare on it. Sorry. All right, let's go for the centers. <laughs> Center, not centers. <laughs> I am not preaching today. <laughs> okay. Let's see. This one, I kind of want it. Do I want to go in this way? No, let's do this one. This one's easier. Uh, hmm. It looks like there's a line that goes right there. That one looks like it's going up, but it's got limb, limbs, petals. So I'm going to do this. This one. I don't really want it to be straight on. So I'm going to turn it a little bit. I don't know. I was going to have it going up and down. It really looks like it's going sideways. So let's do that. Yeah, that's better. If it doesn't look right to you, just change it. Now this one goes that way. I think I will, because coming this way is just, yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put a petal, something like that.
Wow, that changed. That changed it pretty good. I've got some white. Now, here's where you need to make a choice. Do you want your white to be white, or do you want it to pick up a little bit of color underneath? Because if I put this white, it's going to be pretty white, but it's still going to absorb something that's underneath it. Um, and this is the acrylic ink. Now, I can use like craft paint. This will actually do a little bit better. Um, no, I'm gonna stick with the white. Um, and that's just a call. There's not a right, right and wrong on that one. Just do what you feel like doing. I just feel like using these. So I'm going to take the back of my brush and that not much white. I'm going to have to get some more, but uh, figure out where your light's coming from. I tend to do here, so I'm going to make it lighter on this side. I know. And less here. And you can always keep adjusting this, adding dark, adding light. You can just kind of keep adjusting. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's sit there and do that. Now it's on the back of my chair. And he's getting back in his spot. I've got a towel up here for him. He would prefer laying right here, but now see how that's picking up some paint, which is fine. But that's a choice you need to make, whether you want it to pick up pink or not. Okay. I'm going to swap to a stylus because I want a really tiny end. So, let's see. This one. Now, these are also in the Amazon store. There's five of them with ten different ends. So, they vary in sizes all the way up. So, they're, they're pretty cool to have. I enjoy using them. So, you can see the difference. And for some reason, I thought I needed three sets of them. So, I'm going to do this. See the difference? They're a little more consistent than using the back of that brush. I'm going to use some black also up in here. don't have to do this I like the look of it it's just kind of flicking through that paint so it's not smooth I am going to come through here and indicate some petals.
plastic one. It's the kind of green. Went back to the little one. This is where you start really going in there and eyeballing stuff and seeing what you like. I'm going to go in here with the big one. Start putting it in here. You can also do this with the micro brushes. I tend to gravitate to stuff I can clean off and use again, which those are not always a one-time use thing, but that's just me. This is the tiniest one. I don't know why I like these, but I, I do them on almost everything. All right. I'm probably gonna spray and do some white back over these. These are really, that one looks awesome. These are pick, picking up a lot of pink. So, um, I am going to go do that. I will be right back. Okay. I just sprayed with Kmart varnish. Now, what this does to this art is it stops it. It stops it in its tracks. The alcohol ink is done. If you put alcohol on top of this, it's not going to affect it. The acrylic is done. Everything is sealed. So now you can do something else on top of it. So if I wanted to, uh, let's say do more leaves or something, it's not going to affect anything underneath. It's not going to pick up red if I put something on top of the red. So, um, yeah, this is a great thing and it will seal it up. It does it on all kinds of, you know, watercolors, acrylics, the inks, everything. Um, I do this, and on this type of art, I will go through and do a UV protectant spray on it, and then I will also uh, do a clear coat. All those are in the Amazon store, and they're all in the description. Um, so yeah, good stuff to have. FYI, it's cheaper when you buy six of these on Amazon. Just saying. Okay. So I want to go back over this with some white. At this point, my white will hold up much better. Okay. 
Now, it, you might notice a little bit of um, beating up. It will do that, but not so bad that you're going to lose anything in it. You're not going to lose a, a look. And I'm just kind of, yeah, that's, that's just, it's just messy. I like that. Do a small one on that or smaller. And I'm kind of doing a little bit of a squiggly thing. It's got a, look, got a cool look to it. I hadn't done that before. Okay, I'm done with that. Um, all right, so I'm going to take my liner brush again. That's not it. Ah, uh, here's my liner brush. This is a number two also, if you're needing to know. And I've got, I put a little bit of water in it, and I just want to somewhat indicate some lines here, so I'm going to put very little on there. I don't want to do much. And I'm, I'm not even going to make it thick lines like I usually do. I'm just going to kind of, like this one looks like it needs to do this. Now see how it beads up? It's perfect. And because I've got water in this. Normally if I do this, I just do straight. But I put water in it, so the water is going to somewhat beat up on this. And you may have to go over it, but yeah, I like that look. I don't know that I've done this before, but... So when you're putting water on this, that will cause it to do that because I didn't want really strong lines Okay, I'm going to do that on all of them. You're not going to see them as much, but they're still there. And the nice thing about this layering, the way we do it, is the petals are kind of out there for you. I mean, they're, they're pretty much drawn out. You just need to follow, follow the pattern. And I don't worry about connecting lines. Just, just indicate. Leave your viewer being able to play a little bit. Let them, let them do some drawing themselves. I like the pictures that I could participate in.
Okay. <laughs> I am liking this. Okay. We are getting to my favorite part in the whole wide world as splattering. I'm going to use my browns, greens, and blues. I'm going to leave my red, except for that, because I'm going to leave my reds, purple, and yellow alone so that they can they can be on their own. Because if I put red in, it's going to draw your eye over. I want your eye to stay here, you know, in these two places. So if I do purple and red in my splatters, it's going to make your eye travel. So I'm going to keep it more uh, these neutral colors. And we'll see how that goes. I do add water because I want it to flow easier and I want it to thin out and not be real strong beads. Um, I make sure my brush is loaded. I take another brush and I flick it. Now, if you're not sure what this is going to look like, get your piece of paper. Do it. This type brush is not going to lay down a lot of dots. This brush, yeah. So I, I choose to do this because I do want smaller pieces. Something like that. The more loaded your brush is, the more it's going to do also. And then I'm going to grab in some blue. There's some brown. Now I'm not I'm not rinsing. I'm just going from one to the other. I love splats like that. It there's something it creates. I'm not not sure why I like it so well, but I do. Um, squint. See what you see. Now here, I'm going to really plaster it. Um, I'm gonna turn because I want to mess up all that circle where I put all those drops. So see that right there? Messed it up. It didn't take away from it. If you want them on the flowers, let them get on the flowers. If not, cover them up. But yeah, I'm thinking I might be happy with this. Well, of course I'm not. I'll keep doing it as I'm saying I'm happy. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stop. I think I'm going to stop. I don't want to. I want to keep going, but I know better. So I am going to quit and I hope this showed you some fun things and gave you some good ideas and go out there and have some fun. Thanks for watching.